Hugh Colton, Town & Country Chrysler, Town & Country TV, staying in touch with the communities we call home and the great things that happen within them. You know, I love fairs around eastern Ontario, and every year we have an opportunity to travel on the road to the greatest fairs in my mind that happen. And one of the greatest is the year-ending fair in this area. It's known as the Medcalf Fair, and it celebrates its 160th anniversary this year. This is one that you are not going to want to miss. The office administrator and the lady who doesn't have time to do housework, but the fair is going to be the greatest <laughs> fair ever, is my friend Meredith Brophy. Thank you very much, and welcome into the Jeep, Hi, first Hugh. of all. Thank you very much. This fair... I mean, look at tradition, 160 years. So some 160 years ago, like all these fairs that are around us, you know, started with a strong agricultural component. This fair is no different. That's right. That's right. In the olden days, the uh, secretary used to stand on the second floor balcony of the uh, hotel in Metcalf mm -hmm. and read out the prize list. Well, now our prize list is 80 pages yeah. and it gets sent out electronically. And, you know, it's very different. But the main thing that they started with was the agricultural mm -hmm. product and mm -hmm. the uh, commodities, the cattle and the horses and so on, and uh, also what they in those days called the ladies' work, which is what uh, mm -hmm. uh, the ladies worked on all year to whether yeah. it was quilting or cooking and canning. Preserving and so jams That's and making right. pies and homemade right. cookies. Yeah. And that still remains we with still fairs, do doesn't that. it? You we have that too, don't and you? It's a, it's a very uh, important part of our fair. Mm -hmm. Our family pavilion is uh, is second to none, mm -hmm. and I've been to a lot of fairs over across Ontario, and uh, there aren't. I haven't seen any displays that are better, but I could be prejudiced. Well, <laughs> you know the other thing, though, isn't it great that they still remain? Because I've been into those pavilions as well, where we get a home craft pavilion. Mm -hmm. um, I see the smiles on the ladies' faces or somebody right. that has something that they've worked all summer, a special recipe that's going yeah. to be judged at the fair. Yeah. It means so much to them. It does, and it's just, it, most of the time, it's just friendly competition, yeah. and it's nice to be able to show what you yeah. love to do and have it out there in the public, and people appreciate looking at things yeah. like that because, oh, oh, those are those bean pickles my grandma used to make, you know, exactly. and things like that. So it takes people back to their roots, and it also gives people some kind of a, a feeling like, oh, well, she's my neighbor. I could probably do that. Maybe I'll enter next year. And all of a sudden, those two people, they meet. And look at the lifelong friendships that's that have right. happened from that's fairs right. like the Metcalf Fair. Oh, definitely. Fair. Definitely, you know, yeah. That's another strong thing we about We have it. Uh, a lot of good friends in our family yeah. that we met through the fair business. So You've been there great. for a long time as a volunteer. And, I have. You know, before I go any farther, I want to tip my hat to not only to your fair board, but to everybody that volunteers to make the Medcalf Fair possible each and every year. Because yeah. these people are wonderful. You could not do it. And they're so... E they, they want to help. What can I do? Yeah. Well, we need somebody to make sure that the garbage cans are all, all take that job That's on, right? That's right. And people don't, uh, it doesn't stop. We have a growing community in the, in, you know, in the outskirts of the city of Ottawa. Mm -hmm. And I get a couple of emails a day, at least, people saying, you know, we'd like to get involved with the fair. Mm -hmm. What can I do to volunteer? Mm -hmm. And well, what would you like to do? It doesn't matter. You yeah. know, we just want to be involved. Yeah. And that speaks to the future of the fair as sure well, does. not just the reputation that we've built up and yeah. so on. So it's it's great to be part of something like that. Nice to have the volunteers coming back every year, and it's nice to see new people every year because yes. you need that new blood coming yes. into a fair yeah. every year, right? And, uh, you know, I've been on the board for many years, and it's just something that you don't hear is, oh, well, we tried that and it didn't work. Yeah. So a different twist let's yeah let's try mm -hmm. that and see what happens yeah. you know and we're always adding things that are gonna help bring people to enjoy everything that we have to do it something there. new so somebody that wasn't here last year that's no. something new no that's right and always a change and it gives you a fresh flavor yeah, each and every right. year but that's one right. thing that hasn't changed and we mentioned about showing their wares in a in the home craft uh, pavilions but you know the program of 4-h is such a great program and it and it encompasses not only you know showing that prize cap, but so many different things can be learned through 4-H. I mean, oh, that's right. That's and you right. you you feature that, which is a great thing because you're the final fair of the year. We have 4-H uh, kids, teenagers that have been showing all summer mm -hmm. long through the fairs, building 
to get to your fair, right? That's right. That's right. It's a 4-H regional championship show for all of Eastern Ontario. So it's everybody from Frontenac County in the west, mm -hmm. uh, Kingston, and all the way to the Quebec border and wow. up to Renfrew County. Yeah. So it's uh, they have to place uh, a certain way in their own county mm -hmm. to come to the regional show. And it, so we're very proud to host it. There is a 4-H regional championship committee that works and organizes the show itself but we're very happy to hold yeah. it there and uh, it's great to see the the next exactly. couple of generations coming along and doing this and being so serious about the agricultural business yeah. that their family has been in for a long time mm -hmm. or and we have kids from the village who have friends in school who have calves at home and and they get involved that way as well you know see the smiles on those faces i've That's seen them right. at a number of these fairs through the summer yeah. as we lead into the fall months and it is just outstanding and not only that the they work i mean when mm -hmm. you are about to show you know the calf that you've been working with all summer long just the prep time coming into the building to get ready to show is is something very much so and it teaches um a certain level of responsibility mm -hmm. and uh, teamwork you know because yeah. they and the older members do a lot with the younger members to ma monitor yeah. or to mentor them mm -hmm. and uh, it's just really great to watch that happen I'm excited already so we've got 4-H we've got uh, where I'm gonna buy that homemade pie I know I'm gonna <laughs> find it there at the Medcalf Fair but you know you've got uh, I believe light and heavy horse shows, you've got sheep shows, There, you know, all of that is going to be happening through the weekend. And we must mention it starts the 29th of September and goes through till the 2nd of October, That's correct? right, that's right. We start off with things on Thursday and our dairy cattle show is Thursday during the day mm -hmm. and then the gates open at 4 o'clock Thursday. And it's Tooney Night on the Midway, and we have our Demolition Derby. Which Robertson Amusements? Robertson Amusements, and uh, they, too, are just a great company yeah. to work with. Mm -hmm. We've worked with them for uh, almost 15 years now, mm -hmm. and uh, they have a great, they're great people to work with, yeah. and they provide a really good, clean, safe Midway for yeah. us to enjoy. You've got something for every member of the family each and every day, don't you? I mean, when we yep. start to talk about things, when we think about tweaking something, there's a couple things new this year, right? That's right, and something that the whole family can enjoy on Friday night is to come out to the fireworks show. That's Great. part of our 160th anniversary celebration, mm -hmm. and uh, we're trying that this year, so we'll see how that goes. But, uh, I mean, who doesn't love fireworks? They all love them. And uh, on Sunday, there's uh, we have a, an ecumenical worship service, mm -hmm. and a lot of fairs do that, and uh, we have done it in the past, but we're reviving it again this year, and we hope that people Good. will come out and just, just be together on Sunday morning yeah. and then go out and enjoy the fair. Weather permitting, I see that uh, there could be some classic hot rods on board. It, uh, that yes. all depends on weather, but if you have a day, a nice day, you mentioned, Mara, that the last year you had over 400 cars. That's right. It was uh, just a Im very impressive show. I, I made it a point to go up on the Ferris wheel and mm -hmm. uh, take a couple of pictures down over the... Uh, the, exactly. uh, all the people that were enjoying the, the rest of the fair, but especially the uh, car show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about the agricultural component. We need to talk about every fair has great entertainment. And I'll tell you, have you got <laughs> quite a lineup this year? You've got Jason Blaine. We do, Friday night. And he's a valley boy who has, uh, he loves to come back to this part of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, where tickets are going well, and if people would like to come and see them, we do have a pre-sale on the tickets mm -hmm. uh, for Friday night, and uh, those are $25 now, and uh, after the pre-sale, which is noon Thursday, they go up to $30, and then Ambush on Saturday night, another great Valley what a band. following that has been and for years and years and right, years. That's right. So uh, those tickets are fifteen dollars now, and then after the presale ends, they're twenty. Mm -hmm. And and who else? I was looking at your at your list. I see that you have. Uh, Ah, uh, well, uh, we've got Jason Blaine, you've got Ambush, and you've got Bay County BBs. Yeah. Bay County Boys. The Bay they're, County Boys uh, are here. A, a local group, and they're a sort of kitchen party kind of music, you know, okay. Celtic and yeah. a little bit of country, and uh, it's just a great show. And Thursday night is another local band, the Stoneface Sinners. Sorry, yes, yeah. yeah. And Saturday afternoon, we're uh, again trying something new. 
is uh, we're having the Beaver Boxing Club from Ottawa. They're oh. coming out to uh, do some demonstrations. Going to get in the ring? Uh, I don't know. Beaver Boxing is, I would imagine that they'd set up some mats and what have you. And uh, yeah. It's a, uh, they set up a ring and they have, uh, you know, it's mostly their members demonstrating, but they've been talking about maybe strapping a pair of uh, well, well. boxing gloves onto the president or something like that. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> that, that, that could be an auction item. <laughs> no, yeah. Who wants could. to fight the president? That's right. That's this right. fair has been going for 160 years. The price is right too, isn't it? I mean, yes. you know, we've kept it reasonable. I shouldn't say we, but you've kept it very reasonable to make it available to all families. That's right. That's right. And it's uh, the... Anybody up to five years of age, it's free to get in mm -hmm. all weekend. Mm -hmm. Thursday night for the Derby, it's $7 for anybody 13 and over and $3 for 6 to 12-year-olds. And the regular admission from Friday to Sunday is $10 for adults mm -hmm. and $4 for the 6 to 12 age group and still 5 and under is free. Meredith, you did you just say Derby as in demolition yes, Derby? Yes, Thursday night. We have another demolition Derby. They are so <laughs> popular. At, at all the fairs. It's a great family yeah, thing. For they love it. To come and see, and whether it's a a, night, a beautiful night with uh, warm weather, or if it's raining and yeah. cold, they still come out. So it's, it's great for us. Yeah. It's great for us. The 160th edition, uh, the anniversary edition, and we'll come and celebrate with the people of Medcalf and the people that make this fair so special with working at it each and every year and year and year. These are generations of families, I'm sure there are. Right. You know, my great grandfather started and worked here at the fair, yeah. and now I am a part of the fair. That's what you see. They're wonderful people. They're working very, very hard. And I'm sure you have a website to go to or a Facebook page we to do. be able to go to. Uh, both are Metcalf. Uh, well, the website is MetcalfFair.com mm -hmm. and the Facebook page is Metcalf Fair. So, Metcalf Facebook. with an E. Medcalf with an E. Medcalf <laughs> Fair on Facebook. And again, the website, MedcalfFair.com. <laughs> have fun. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very That's much great. for spending some time with me. Pleasure. And uh, thank you for continuing to carry on these great fair traditions that are happening through our area and holding on to that uh, agricultural uh, component that means so very, very much. It's a great business to be in and it's a great team that does it in Medcalf. Yeah. When you see a far shake a hand of a farmer because they feed us each and every day. So Medcalf's the place to be. Uh, September the 29th through October 2nd, That's right? right. That's 29th right. of September through October 2nd. It's the 160th anniversary edition of the Medcalf Fair. Get everything online or on their Facebook page and uh, make sure that you get there for the weekend. You're going to have a great time. Hugh Colton, Town & Country TV. Hi everybody, Hugh Colton, Town & Country TV, with an invitation for you to hit that subscribe button to find out what's happening in and around the communities that we call home.